Peggy 16. Hello, Al. Hi, Joey. I'm Joey. This is Al, and we are going to be playing the Battle of the Nile. Mm -hmm. um, today you're playing as Rome. Yep. But your previous experience is as Egypt. Yeah, so we uh, we showed uh, the Battle of the Nile off at uh, E3. You may have seen some of that online. Um, we showed the uh, the battle from the Egyptian perspective, so defending from the Roman attack. Now that was a lot uh, a lot simpler um, uh, challenge of, uh, of, for the battle because that's kind of designed for newcomers. Whereas the Rome the Rome version, where you're slogging up the hill and you've got to take the Egyptian position, is much much tougher. So tactical disadvantage, mm -hmm. um, like positioning and. Yep. Your numbers. Yes, you are... sheer numbers. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of outgunned, outnumbered, um, and my navy, especially, is 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 particularly prone to their navy. So we're we're, we're quite outnumbered in the water as well. So I'll get the battle started. Um, you know, you have to win this game, and do you know why? Why? Last week at Rezd was my first ever demo, mm -hmm. and uh, I won, but a costly victory. Right, but I okay. still won. So the challenge is on. Okay. If you can beat my costly victory. All right, I'll do my best. No promises though. No promises. <laughs> okay. So uh, this is the intro and we've got the, the hill where the Egyptian troops are and uh, the platform where some of the ballistas are. Mm -hmm. Yep, so we've got ballistas up here, war elephants, Oof. ouch. Um, you know, what, what Egypt will probably do is, is do its best to hold most of its forces there and defend the hill. While and this is your fleet? Yes, this is my fleet here. Um, see, most of that, that front line of ships are quadrums, they're quite small. Um, now what I'm going to do is use those uh, not in combat at all. I'm just going to, because they're effectively troop ships. I mean, I could go board the enemy fleet, but I'm just going to deny that. I'm going to send my troops directly onto the land to support my land forces because we're kind of outnumbered here. So. So straight is reinforcement. Yep, exactly, exactly. See, with this, you can't... Um, the, it's set up already, so the game has started, and there's no option for you to kind of move your uh, units around to deploy them as, as there normally would be. Why is that? No, that's right. So um, so normally in you know any campaign map-generated uh, battle, you, you would have that option. But um, in the Battle of Nile is, is one of the historical battles. So, right. Um, so in this, you know, it's a set challenge, effectively, you know. Um, so we, you just you just got to make the best of your kind of initial position. So, um, so what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm as you see I've sent my uh, my troop ships off to land, uh, land the troops, and then my my two ballista big rooms here. Um, I'm going to send these guys up to into the jaws of doom. Effectively, they're going to be my sacrificial lambs, um, but they're going to soak up um, a lot of attention of the of the fleet there. So I. You know, so I can get my troops off unhindered. So, That's yeah. not very nice. They're all piling off quite nicely. No, I know, but you know, to, mo to move mountains, you must make sacrifices. So I'm afraid it's those guys. Says every good general. Exactly. I'm cold. I'm a cold-blooded leader. And let's see if I I'm actually any good at it. Right. Um, so I'm, what I'm doing is setting up unit groups for my um, for my uh, infantry and cavalry and mounted troops here. So um, what I want to do actually is send my skirmishers forward to just do a bit of scouting. I'm going to send my other unit of um, javelin skirmishers over here to meet up with uh, my disembarked legionaries because I want these guys to head on up the hill over here. So there's a unit of ballista here, which currently trained on my ships, but they'll soon turn to my army. Because as you can see, those ships aren't going to last long. No, not, not against those no. forces. So, sorry, boys. <laughs> so you're so sneaking up the side the through the trees. That's right, yeah. Oh, and look, we've got a skirmish already. So we've got um, my javelin then, and it looks like some camel archers there. They're playing around in the trees, they're trying to draw me out, so I'm going to send my javelins over there, so they shouldn't withdraw because my troops aren't close enough. Um, but in the meantime, let's get the, my Evercarty and my mounted forces on the move. So, how are we doing over here? Right, everybody's kind of meeting up nicely. Excellent. To get these motoring in some kind of reasonable formation. So, so what's your tactical plan, considering you are at a massive loss yeah, in many so, ways? So, quite a disadvantage, as you can see from here. You know, there's just there's there's a lot more Egyptian stuff, and they've got a hill, which is really hard to climb up and slows me down. So and easy to shoot from. And easy to shoot from, indeed. So, it looks like my javelin will chase the guys off. So, yeah, my plan is effectively to use my Evercarty, which are really really tough on those. So just line them up here on the hill. Um, and I'm going to kind of use those as, as, as 
in my general up behind as well. Um, use those as, as my main force, which will attract some fire, of course, but I think, you know, it's important. I mean, they're tough. They'll stick around. They've got really high morale. Um, and this will give my flanking force up here, which I'll send up left, up this way, um, a chance to go and get involved and, and, and have a bit of fun. Um, but at the moment, it looks like there's something coming up the tree, so I'm just going to meet it. Hey! And it's. Oh, it's elephant time. So, what I'm going to do. What, what is the best way to deal with this? So, send everyone in, get your legionaries throwing their pelons in to begin with, and then my javelin will, will sit at the back here, constantly popping away at the elephant. With a bit of luck, we'll take them out. But, yes, look, it looks like we're turning already. Um, oh! Oh! Ouch! Okay, so we've been shot at from the sea now as well. This is uh, this is not, not not a good day right now. No, so they have taken your naval fleeing seriously. Yes. Okay. Looks like we scared the elephants off. That's really that's really nice. Let's get my guys motoring. Chase them down. Let's do that. Get those moving there. And come up. Right. Ooh. Okay. So the end party on the move. So you have a lot of unpredictable units in, in this battle. We've got, I mean, the elephants who can not only destroy you, but themselves. Yeah. So yeah, they, they tend to, um, they've got this kind of, well, we call it an internal rage meter effectively, but it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a kind of attribute that we don't you know, directly show to the player, but it's um, um, as, as elephants fight and they get struck particularly by javelins and arrows, um, uh, by ranged units, they get angrier and angrier, and then they snap, and they run amok, and then their their owner cannot control them anymore. So they tend to they tend to run wild and just trample over all sorts of stuff until until they're put out of their misery, effectively. <laughs> so, right, okay, we've got a clear line to the guns now, which is great news. So um, all these guys, I wish they'd never been born. Oh, look how close you got! Yeah, I practically see them cry. Oh, yeah, the, the, the detail up close, I mean, it's just tremendous. You know, under fire, look, these guys are raising the shields, they're approaching in a kind of realistic fashion. Javelin men, obviously, much, much lighter, you know, so they run faster. And a gentle jog up that hill. Exactly. And then they're just going to let loose with their javelins. So, right, we're making a good advance here. Oh, someone's letting some burning balls Ooh. off. Oh, oh no. man. Oh. That was a really good shot on the, on the AI's part. Oh, 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 that one stopped. Oh, oh, oh he just got a few. It hit that little divot just there. Right. That was really lucky considering the damage. Yeah, absolutely. It could have been, uh, that could have been really bad. Right, unfortunately, I'm just going to have to take this one in the face. I think, ah, oh, no, look. Oh, oh. oh. That is too late. Too late for those horses. But it did miss the, all of the elephants. It did, which is absolutely crucial to my plan here. Those elephants have a job to do. Right, I'm going to start countering with these. Uh -huh. right, it looks like the crews from the... Uh, from the these are the guys that set the uh, burning balls off, so... See how they like. How the, are they as uh, fighters? Not very good. Excellent. <laughs> I mean, they're reasonable swordsmen, they're average swordsmen, but you know, against three units of every party, hey, anyone's going to break. See, that was something that was brought up on the forums: is that the combat speed is it seems uh, particularly fast. Yeah, it's 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 reasonably fast in this historical battle. I mean, it's actually it's a little slower in the main game. It's a little more considered. Whereas this is, oh no, he's caught my elephant with his chariot. Oh, that's not not good. So the elephants have out. done pretty well. And it, is that you increasing in rank? Yep. Congratulations. Got a little rank up there. How are we all handling this mess in the middle? Oh, no. So let's let those guys break and let's try and reform him a bit. Okay, we now have African elephants charging around the place having a whale of time. Javelins need to be on those. Right. Oh, the elephants are turning around. Oh, wait. They're coming back, they're coming back. Oh no. Fire, fire. Another increase in rank. I really like that, that now you can, you can kind of individually increase your rank within the game. Yeah. What have we got over here? Are those elephants coming? No, no, okay, it's just good. Okay, good. Right, how are we doing here? Oh, <gasps> Creeping wow. up the side. Yeah, now this has worked out beautifully, look. So my guys here and now have a clear shot of the ballistas and then I'm going to hold them here while the rest of my army hopefully can start taking out 
draws and them out. Soak up, soak up the um, the main forces of the Egyptian army. So you can sneak into the capture point. Exactly. Oh. Uh, sneak into the capture point. How am I doing? Have I still got oh. some left? I do still have some left. I might. I know this is not good tactical. Ah, oh, wait. Okay. Yeah. Great. Great. Okay. Excellent. Now. now Heavy now fire now being taken. Ready. Yeah. Look at look at all those fire arrows going. In. That's not good. Okay, a little unit there, looks like they've scared off some of my guys. I mean, right. as far as combat speed looks, it's okay. it's fairly normal, but I think there's, within this game particularly, there's a lot of fast-moving exactly. units. Exactly, yeah, 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 exactly. So, you know, with elephants, chariots... Camels. Camels, horses. yeah, camels, horses. What are those guys doing? Archers. Oh, archers? Elephants. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, I think we've got some luxury of time here, so... Bit more. I mean, elephants are very strong, but they seem to be a very slow moving unit as well, so yeah. they're kind of your uh, heavy hitters. Exactly. Um, oh. As you can see, I mean, they're not killing all these guys, they're disrupting them quite a lot. So, um, now here's the fun bit. Now I've managed to get my elephants in. You're just, I can just what? Look at that. Their army. And their pint men simply aren't prepared, they're not close. Oh, he's trying to run his guns away. <laughs> That's true. So, right. He's Try not to engage with that side because he knows I've got some units here. So, however, I think we're ready. You are doing excellently. We're ready to just engage. Right, how am I guys doing over here? What's going on over here? My cav against what are they? Swordsman. Not the best infantry. Cav should do okay, but yeah, I'd say we're going to go. Scared. So this is a pretty challenging uh, game considering the numbers and the positioning, but there was someone who uh, successfully at Res at the weekend, played mm -hmm. Rome, yeah. annihilated the Egyptian forces, yeah. and then destroyed the reinforcements, yeah. which, I mean, there are quite a few reinforcements as well. Exactly, yeah. There's, Ca there's a can whole, we see a whole them at the army. side? There's a whole other army reinforcing. Oh. It looks like it looks like they've had it. <gasps> yeah, I've got him. That capture point is turning, turning from red, and it will go from red, white, and then yellow if you successfully maintain that point. Exactly. So you see this flag's dropping here, and then I'll switch to Roman's flag in a second. Um, and then we've just got to raise the flag up, and then it becomes ours. There we are. You know what? I think you're going to beat my costly victory. I think I, I, think I might do. I think I'm doing pretty well here. I've got most of my units there. I've lost, by the looks of it, a unit of javelin and two units of cavalry. So, actually, we're looking pretty good. And my elephants still haven't run them off. Yes. I have control of my elephants still, which is kind of astounding at this part in any battle, to be honest. <laughs> but could you beat Hirotaka Tachiki? Who, who oh, he was the guy who raised the, Yeah, he was reinforcing armies. I, you know what? <laughs> oh, not even a challenge accepted. Yeah, the guy's a master. He so, is. It uh, really was. So shout out to um, to the man. He's um, a remarkable total war player. Yeah, it was really impressive. Nearly there. Nearly. Okay, it's in the bag. Yeah, it's in the bag. So I think this is wind down. But uh, that was impressive stuff. Um, and. This has been the Battle of the Nile as Rome. We'll be doing more Let's Play videos in the future, so we will see you soon. All right. Later.